base security, get like your steady paycheck, you know, and my money's going to be capped, um, which also means opportunities and how I'm able to like give back not only to family, but community would also be capped. Um, so then I kind of decide like, Hey, like, why am I thinking that teaching in a public job is more secure? Mm -hmm. Come on to betting on myself, betting on my skills. Cause I'm still teaching. Yeah. Right. It's just real estate now and like financial literacy being a high performer, um, as opposed to like grade 11, 12 bio, or even like chemistry. I never even took chemistry and they had me teaching that one of the years. <laughs> so I was like, what the hell is going on? Right. Um, now making that jump and kind of betting on abundance instead of security mm. changed a lot, especially after going to meet other mentors that have been around my life and them really solidifying that decision of like, Hey, like real estate could always go back, but if you don't take the jump now, then it's just going to be harder to make that jump. Right. Cause that security is going to keep sneaking in. Right. And now we live in a time where it's like a job's not that secure anymore. No, it, it's, it wasn't secure to begin with. Yeah. And they, they kind of marked it as job security. Right. But little do you know, like even 2023, you're seeing crazy layoffs in the stage, right? 10,000 people getting laid off because of AI. It's, it's job, job security is not what it was back then. Yeah. It's not the same. And it'd be, okay if like inflation was such wasn't such a crazy thing but like <laughs> yeah like that makes things even way less secure because like at your job you're not really in control of like giving yourself a raise no, or it's no. like i could literally in a business either hire better people take responsibility just work more yep. and i could give myself a raise now there's like leverage ways you can do it better of course um but there's more control like i can't just work overtime at my teach, in fact, working overtime in my teaching career reduces my hourly wage. You so it's like, it. <laughs> yeah, like the more effort I put in, the less I'm paid. This is so true. Yeah, it's weird. It's yeah, weird. Because when I was doing overtime at my previous job, I was getting paid pretty much the same amount, just taxes took over the only the overtime. So basically, you're working for free on on cheap. Yeah. And it's it's crazy when you see that you're just like okay I put like twelve extra twenty extra hours this week at, at the said company didn't get paid anything. It's but it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point though. The main point. Yeah, and I think like I don't know, this is just one of my opinions, but I think teachers are like it's a seven figure skill. Yes, it's always oh, yeah. that you're government mandated, so you're capped. Yeah. But like, like I ran the numbers. If I work 2,080 hours a week, or sorry, not a week, a year, which is full-time, right? Now, some teachers will work 40 hours. Some teachers will work 50 hours. So I'm just route it off throughout 2,000 hours a year. And if I teach around, I think it was like 130 students a year, which, you know, if you teach nine classes, like eight to nine classes of 30 kids, oh, that's, that's, even nine is like, that's 200, what, 270? Yeah. If my math is right. So it's, I even cut that down. I think it ends up being around 250 or like 380 bucks per child per year. So you're telling me that we're telling these people that you're doing a life changing job, but per year to change a life is $380. Wow. It's crazy. Like if it's really life changing, shouldn't be paid more. Now I guess like there's limits, to government, da, 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 it's public school education. I get it. I'll um, policies yeah of course you got teachers not teaching the right so yeah they don't know right and that's a big thing to like that's the that's the one thing that you brought up that could like clicked with me it was like there are teachers there that teach things that aren't supposed to be teaching those things because they don't have the experience in it right yeah like i had to teach chemistry i didn't even take chemistry in high school yeah now <laughs> of course you're taught to be a pedagogue which means you're artists and scientists of learning and education so you shouldn't technically be able to teach anything um, now is, are all teachers pedagogue pedagogues? I don't think so. Like there are absolutely specialists. Um, not trying to take away from any of those people, no. right? Like there's a bunch of you are amazing at what they do. Um, but it kind of just goes back to the point, okay, like what's the value of that? Now, maybe that's like the societal problem that we can't pay these teachers enough. Like, you know, for paying athletes this much, 
like cool they get entertainment but why don't we pay teachers that much now, i know it's going to rub people along no, but point. like that's a hell of a good point yeah <laughs> i don't think we're well, we going to live a society like that it, it might just get like too good um but uh, i'm dark a wish and even with a lot of my close friends or entrepreneurs a lot of us are actually doing the same job you did before but in the free market yeah it's like i'm doing the exact same thing i have you know, maybe yeah. rents. Yeah. yeah, same skills. So then it's just, now you just charge people what you are. Mm. Yeah. Tell the boss to decide. It's not like the $20 an hour that you get at an employee job. You're doing the exact same job, just at a higher cap. And that's right. your cap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So instead of $20 an hour, it's more like, hey, $100 an hour. It could be $1,000 an hour. Right. Depends on you. Yeah.